Welcome back to North of the Broad. My next guest is Ron Tucker. He is the president and CEO of the Buford Film Society. Ron, it's so good to have you here. Well, I know, for me. I know we've got the International Film Festival coming up in February, but let's begin at the beginning. The, the Buford Film Society, you know, tell me what you do and how long it's been in existence and some of the great films that have been shot here. Yeah, well, the Film Society <clears throat> technically was born in 2009 uh, but we existed uh, prior to that under a different name, the mm -hmm. Buford Regional Film Commission. Okay. Uh, and the purpose of the Film Society is really to uh, enhance and embrace the love of film, the love of film history, um, and doing it in Buford, South Carolina, where over 20 major motion pictures have been shot here, uh, all beginning with the Pat Conroy film, right. uh, the book, uh, The Great Santini. Right. And, uh, and since that time, uh, more films have come to Beaufort and, and we have tried through the Film Society and the Film Festival to entice the filmmakers to come here. And it kind of is, is, they're tied together. The mm -hmm, Film mm -hmm. Festival mm -hmm. uh, is what gets the filmmakers here who have never been to Beaufort, maybe never even heard of Beaufort. And they see it and said, no wonder 20 motion, right. um, motion uh, pictures have been, pictures made, have been here. made here. So, right. uh, and that's what that's it's all exciting. about. And the Film Society is a, a member-driven organization. Okay. And we try to get everybody who has ever watched television or a movie to join the Film Society. If you live in the area or if you don't live in the area, we have Film Society members from really all over the country. And, and, and they're um, not necessarily <coughs> filmmakers, but they love Film. Film, yeah. You know, I mean, shorts, documentaries, animated, right, you know, right. whatever. I mean, yeah, all the categories are covered uh, um, in the film festival, and we hope that those people who want to stay in the know of about filmmaking mm -hmm. in South Carolina specifically, but just mm -hmm. filmmaking in general. And right. if you have any any uh, interest yes. whatsoever, then Film Society is what you should be a part of. All right, so now the International Film Festival is going to be February 18th <coughs> through the 23rd, 2020. It's your 14th annual. What, what? 14th annual. What happens during the festival? Well, we had some pretty <laughs> humble beginnings, uh, and I like to tell the story that our first festival in 2007, um, we really didn't know what we were doing. We, we kind of stumbled our way to, to now. Uh, we had about 500 people in attendance that year, and we were very happy to have the 500. Last year, we had uh, just right at 16,000 people from uh, 33 states. Did you say 16,000? 16,000. Oh my gosh. From 33 states and five countries. Oh my so, gosh. So uh, we were very happy with that, and we broke the screening record per screening, averaged 300 per screening, which is unheard of in the film festival circuit. And it's all in one venue at USCB, the Center for the <coughs> Arts. Right. And, and um, it goes on for several days, and it's just, is it like one showing after another, starting at 9 o'clock in the morning? 9 o'clock in the morning, it starts, and the best thing is the audience that comes, that have been coming year after year after year, there's people from all over the country that make their reservations for the next festival before they leave this festival. Wow. And um, in fact, we just saw some people today who are from Wisconsin who discovered Buford through the film festival <laughs> and are here visiting. And uh, right. so it's, a, it's one of those things that's great for, for Buford, it's great for tourism in Buford and South Carolina, and uh, we're just over the top uh, proud it's, of it. And what makes this film festival different or unique <laughs> from others in, in the country or overseas or whatever? Well, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> We like to think that we're much different. We've uh, traveled to other film festivals and the things that we see is they are in multiple venues uh, and ours is in one. Uh, the one venue we screen, we don't have block screening. After the film, uh, we have an immediate Q&A with the filmmaker or mm -hmm. filmmakers, right. sometimes more than one. Exciting. Uh, and we have a 10 minute Q&A. And what we tell the filmmakers, no matter how long your film is, if it's five minutes, minutes long, you have 10 minutes to talk about it. <laughs> so that makes us different because uh, they don't get that kind of one-on-one -on -one time with the audience. And the audience is one of our biggest, um, I guess the one of the things we're most proud of because the audience is, uh, sells Buford and it sells the film festival. Right. So I know you're going to be back. Mm -hmm. in early January to talk more about the film festival. Any f kind of final words you want to share with folks right now as we close? Well, we just uh, hope that everybody will take a look at our website, BufordFilmFestival.com, mm -hmm. 
uh, where you can learn more about the Film Society and the Film Festival and stay up to date on other events that we have coming up Perfect. between now and the festival. Good job. Thank you so much, Ron. Thank so you nice for to meet me. you, Ron Tucker, you. President and CEO of the Buford Film Society. And that's our show for this week, so we'll see you next time on North of the Broad.